All right, last time I drove this, which was in my video at Luke's house, I beat this thing up. Probably shouldn't have gone that hard on it since it doesn't have very many upgrades. The hinge and brace fell off and I wasn't able to find it. So I have one of those coming. The bumper, the screws ripped out of that. So in the future, I'm gonna order that. But for now, I'm gonna use zip ties. And then, I don't know when this happened, but it's been like that for a little while. This link has been destroyed. So what I have here right now are these little Amazon special rod ends there for the center brace. And that's what I'm gonna be putting on right now. Just gotta wait for the, the um, hinge pin brace. And then I also ordered a front diff because it's probably very easy to hear, but when I was driving at Luke's house, it was clicking like crazy. So yeah, unfortunately it's like December 7th, I think right now. And that's supposed to come January 6th at the latest. So who knows when that's coming? Hopefully it comes earlier, but that this thing might just have a strip front diff for a while. Um, so let's get these things on. All right, first, let's grab this. Let's bring it over here. Sorry, the camera quality for some reason is really bad right now. It's like fuzzy. I have to wipe my lens off. Let me just do that quickly. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, let's get the drill. Ooh, yeah. All right. All right. Got it in. Now, let's take out these screws. All right. Got the screws out. This one just is destroyed. Don't know how that happened, but got these metal ones down there. I guess I'll just have an extra plastic one in case one of those gives out. Chuck that over there. Um, now I guess we can just... Yeah! There we go. Let's unscrew this. Jeez, it's really tight. I think I'm gonna need to use some pliers and a screwdriver. Let me just set my phone first. Alright, let's get it. Nice. Out with the old and in with the new. Alright, so, yep, this one's totally fine. And I'm not really sure what happened to the other one, but it's broken. So, this one I can just put in the spare parts and wait until one of these things break, which I don't think it will. But, who knows? Look at that. It's red too, so it kind of blends in. Makes it look like the rest of the car. And something I didn't know before um, looking at the Spectrum website is that these little threads um, are literally just like a little stick. So, uh, these little screw thread things here, they just, I can't do it right now, it's probably Loctite, but they just unscrew from that. Yeah! So, I think we can just stick it in, do a little brace thing there, fit that on there, fit that on there, and let's get those screws in. Got the thing completely installed. That's not gonna be popping out anymore. Looks nice, but still can't drive it because I'm missing it. I'm missing a hinge pin brace. Um, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Another thing I did off camera was I put one million weight diff oil in the front and rear diff and added an extra shim just to kind of make them tighter so they wouldn't strip. I just want to see if 
because I examined the front diff and I couldn't see any real teeth missing. They're just a couple of ground down. And it's the same case when the diff strips on the repo way over there. Um, it's, they, it, you never really are able to see anything visibly wrong with the diff. It's weird. And it's not the inside either. It's, it's just like slipping for some reason. Um, hopefully the shims make it so I don't need to get another one. Um, but anyways, short video. Um, these things will make it a lot stronger. Anyways, subscribe.